I got. I got the value pass. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip, and I'm in Houston, Texas, and I'm visiting the Houston Zoo today. So as you see, I just got my hat. We're at the little gift kiosk. It was uh, twenty. One dollars, I believe it was. So that's usually around average what I what I get for hat. Sorry, I had some birdies behind me. Startled me. So this is a good sized property. They are doing some construction. They are working on the zoo's master plan. The whole entry area that it came in is recently opened. A lot of the construction is open. They are still working on the, the Galapagos Island habitat area, which is a larger area of the zoo. And that's supposed to be opening up in the next few years. That is just to the right of the entry point. I'll show you that in a second. So I was supposed to go to this zoo last week when I first got here. I had my tickets all purchased. Then the rain came and that changed my plans. Luckily I was able to change the date and I didn't lose anything. I'm hoping we're gonna see lots of animals. Zoo just opened at nine o'clock. It's gonna be a nice sunny day. Main reason I got the hat. So let's get started. To the left inside the main entrance in front of the zoo store is the stroller rental. Got single strollers, double strollers, wagons and wheelchairs, ECV. ACP with canopy. So even though the signage says autumn 2022 with the COVID closures, I believe it's being pushed back to early 2023. But this is what the Galapagos Island area is going to look like. So it's gonna be adding quite a bit to this already gorgeous zoo. Looking forward to it. I'll definitely come back in the future when this is completed. All right, so this is the map. See Galapagos, all on the right hand side. Asian elephant area just opened up recently. So this is a good sized property. Gonna be lots to see. Definitely looking forward to this. So we are here at the bottom of the main entrance. So I'm going to try and work on a loop around, go along the left hand side and work my way around this area here, but we shall see. I also got the paper map in the front, so that way I can see where I'm at as I go along. Alright, California sea lion. Enjoying the water. I see lion. This is the sea lion's area. Plenty of viewing area on both sides of the sea lion habitat. And this is nice. And I like this. Okay, so face masks are no longer required to be worn in the zoo if you are fully vaccinated, which I am. I do have my face mask with me just in case there are areas where there are large groups of people. I'll put my face mask on just as a precaution. But they are doing cleanings Throughout the day, I do not believe there's one-way pass anymore because a lot of the restrictions have been lifted for the state of Texas. But they are still doing routine cleanings. All staff members are still required to wear face coverings. So it's a safe environment with all the openings. Uh, things are progressing nicely. Got a slender-tailed meerkat. So the meerkats have a nice habitat. One of the staff is in here. Getting a habitat all ready for the animals. I see one. There it is. Another meerkat. 
It's a cautious one. Is coast oh, clear? Right Can they come out now? So you see all the burrows that they have. You do dig holes. This guy looks like he's digging a new hole. We're gonna go check out the reptiles and amphibians. I love seeing all these critters and I know several of my subscribers that enjoy these as well. Got this giant frog sculpture or statue. Never really know what to call them, statues or sculptures. All right, just at the entrance, a reticulated python. That is a big giant snakey. Got another one. And we got a lighter colored. If you want to get a pet snake, I highly recommend getting a ball python versus these reticulated pythons. As the ball pythons have the similar look, but they stay small enough to handle. And we got this habitat. Got Amazon milk frog, bumblebee poison dart frog, and blue leg poison dart frog. Yeah, poison dart frogs. Amazon milk frog. That's the Amazon milk frog. The lemur tree frog. Panamanian golden frog. Anthony's poison dart frog. Spiritail leaf gecko. Strawberry dart frog. Spine headed tree frog. Poison dart frogs. Wild eared tree frog. Riding leaf frog. The golden mantella. This habitat has a flying frog. And in this habitat, there's Panamanian golden frog. This froggy. There's a strawberry poison dart frog. A little froggy. Got reptiles of the desert. Got Chuckwalla. A collared lizard. A box turtle. And a spiny lizard. The two of our lizard friends. for the other one. Other uh, lizard. And the box turtle is in this little crevice here. We've got an Anagata Island Iguana. Woo! Got a nice habitat. There is a big iguana. Got the Cayman lizard. Oh, that's an awesome habitat. We've got a Cayman lizard. And then we're thinking to see a triangle cichlid and cardinal tetra. A double decker came in lizards. It's like the one on top likes a nice soft lizard to lay on. Fishies. Got a carpet or diamond python. Now I was looking for the carpet python on the bottom because, you know, carpets are on the ground. Oh, this is him. Like that. Some people don't like snakes. I like snakes. Now we got a Komodo dragon. Komodo dragon's got a nice habitat. And there he is. Here's his head peeking out. All right, King Cobra. King Cobra's habitat is one side, and it's the other side. And 
King Cobra is in the back. Having a nap. A black headed python. Brazilian lance head. Black headed python. You can see his black head. The Brazilian lance head. In the bottom corner, got a Bushmaster. We got a black breasted leaf turtle. And a red tailed green rat snake. With the Bushmaster's habitat. And he's also down here on the bottom. Black-breasted leaf turtle, right here on the bottom here. He's cute. There's our red-tailed green rat snake. A messing beaded lizard. Some baba tomato frog. A fringe leaf-tailed gecko. The Grand came in a blue iguana. It's another good sized iguana. So I was looking all over the habitat for fringe leaf tailed gecko. And he's out up at the top. That's him. You can see the eyeball. Got African dwarf crocodile. So he's got nice face. Who's here at the bottom? Who's his head anyway? Got a Henkel's leaf tailed gecko. His Nolan giant knoll. So Henk's leaf tailed gecko is right here on the glass. And the giant Tree python. It's a Bowen's python habitat. Oh yeah. Love his markings. Green tree python. Now we got a bearded dragon. We got a Santa Catalina rattlesnake. Here to dragon. And Santa Catalina rattlesnake is in the back on top of one of the rocks. Good spot to be in. Got a green tortoise. Ooh, Gila monster. A green tortoise. Here's the Gila monster. You guys got a nice habitat. We've got an emerald alligator lizard. The Rally's Palm Pit Viper. And the emerald alligator lizard. And the lizard. It's right up here. There's one right there too. Yeah. Nice lady pointed out this other one. Right, trying to find the Palm Pit Viper. It's right here. Mixed in. A lot of these snakes have excellent camouflage. Oh, we're going to see a rock rattlesnake. It's a Ruba Island rattlesnake. Speckled rattlesnake. The rock rattlesnake is ignoring his name. He's here on the bottom. Doesn't want to be in the rocks right now. Ruba Island Rattlesnake. 
speckled rattlesnake. I like this guy's colorations. Got a gaboon viper. So there's two of them in here. You got one here. The other one's just all stretched out. This is all one snake. Looks like there's two snakes side by side, but I like their really nice markings. Got a Mexican lance headed rattlesnake. Lance headed rattlesnake. Just moving around doing snaky stuff. Got African bush viper. Mexican jumping pit viper. African bush viper. It's got some nice colors. Eyelash vipers up on the top. The Mexican jumping pit viper. Wouldn't want one of these guys jumping on me. There's a Sri Lankan green pit viper. I got a prehensile tailed skink. Arizona black rattlesnake. The prehensile tailed skink is inside of its log. Arizona black rattlesnake. Got one in the back. And there's another one on the bottom. And Gashin mountain pit viper. Indian star tortoise. Molly spiny tailed lizard. Gibson tortoise. The mountain pit viper. The bottom we got the Egyptian tortoise. And the spiny tailed lizard is going to be somewhere in here. The lesser sundress python. Everglades rattlesnake. Brown tree snake. The lesser sundress python. That is nice. It's an Everglades rattlesnake. Partially hidden. You see his tail. Resting behind all the plants. And the brown tree snake is right in the back. Gray tree frog. Gold Coast Hook. Houston Toad. Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. We got Smoky Jungle Frog. Angolian Python. Some of the local froggies. And Western Diamondback Rattlesnakes. See, back in Florida, we got the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnakes. Second snakey. The Smoky Jungle Froggy. Right here. There's another one to the side of him, but he's kind of blocked by the leaves. There's the Angolian Python is behind this rock. So unfortunately, that's all of them I can show you. We got three snakes together. We got a copperhead. A Texas rat snake. A cane break rattlesnake. The so copperhead is right at the top. Texas rat snake and a cane break snake on the top. Everyone's just up here on the top of the branch here.
Here we got a cotton mouth. And a Gulf Coast a ribbon steak. Got some water snakes. Here on the bottom. Gulf Coast Ribbon Snake. It really blends in. Shall I zoom in for you? It's a local water snake. It's all the way in the bottom, in the water, of course. Got a West African green mamba. And then with the green mamba, you got the black mamba. The green mamba. Very easy to tell. The green mamba's a good sized snake. Snake up on the top. You see the black mamba moving around. That's the black mamba. Some information on what a monitor lizard is. A crocodile monitor. All right, so I'm looking around for the crocodile monitor, and I don't see him. So he's gonna be blended in really well. A Komodo dragon. That's a big Komodo dragon. He's got lots of space. Move around. I'm gonna go check out the Natural Encounters building. All right, right when we walk in, this is what we see: a giraffe catfish, a tinfoil barb. Snake neck turtle. Got a bandit archer fish. A red bellied short neck turtle. And a tricolor shark minnow. Draw the turtles. Get the snake neck turtles because they got the really long neck. Looks like a snake. Habitat is called Forest Canopy. Got Forest Canopy. Lenny's Two Toed Sloth. Victorian Crowned Pigeon. We got a Star Tortoise. So I figured a sloth was going to be somewhere up in this tree. And there he is. Just as I suspected. Up there. Sleeping. Big giant Victorian crown pigeon. That's an impressive looking bird. We also got white faced sake monkey, golden lion tamarin, and pygmy marmoset. See the white faced sake, and little marmosets running around chasing each other. some birds in there too with them. Oh, the marmosets are enjoying themselves. There you go. Came up to say hello. This area is called River's Edge. We're gonna get some uh, private squirrel. Asian small clawed otter, ripsaw catfish. This is called a kakama. So currently they are working on cleaning the habitat so the otters will not be out until they are finished. So I'll come back. I'll still be in the building, but. We'll come back and get you a good view of the otter. 
All right, forest glade area. Got a prehensile tailed porcupine. This guy's got a very nice looking habitat. And it's looking in there, he is. Amazon River Basin, you see some red piranha. It's going to be an Aru. An electric eel. White Blotch River Stingray. And an Argentine Mouth Broder. Right. There are the piranha. I like how they have the glistening scales to them that reflect the light. There is the stingray. So the other fish. We got brackish water. We got a large scale of four eyes. We've got an African mini. Got a spotted green puffer fish. And a spotted scar. And a jack puffer fish at the bottom. See one of the puffers in the back. Along the top is a large scale four eyes. See two of the puffers in the back. This area is called dry lands. See dry lands. The Estorito Starlin and a speckled mouse bird. Some cute little birdies. And a little bit further over. That's a cute little bird. Eating some lettuce. Oh, I like this. This is a coral reef. Big nose unicorn fish. We got a pellet surgeon fish. We got a white tail daskalus. We got a clown an enemy fish. A Bengai cardinal fish. And a sea goldie. And of course, all of the coral is real. And enemies. It's a dory. And some minos. That's what the kids call them. Just keep swimming. This is a nice looking fish. I like this. Got some stuff on the wall. A subterranean. Naked mole rat. The Mara mole rat. See the mole rats. You got all the different tunnels to go through. Now that is scary looking. Imagine this thing coming at you. These are naked mole rats. These are the other mole rats because these are fuzzy. Yeah, 
can, can see them all on the bottom. A collared lizard and a giant day gecko. Mr. Lizard. Got some moon jellies. I love seeing these. Alright, so she's going in there to let out the prevalent squirrel and the small claw otter. Here's the small claw otter. Oh, it's getting fishy. Oh. That's a toy I want to buy for Max. And the crowbot squirrely. Uh, fish. Oh, yeah, they put fish in there for the otter. Oh yeah, look at that. Yum, yum, yum. Man, it's being a pig. Look at that. Snacks. Oh boy, snacks. Woo, snacks. I like snacks first thing in the morning. He's grabbing the fish out of here. I see them. Okay, go. Yeah. I think that's Munching on the fish. Oh. That's a little squirrely. That's a pretty squirrel. Squirrel. Crab and squirrel. We got some lettuce there on the rock for the prevalent squirrels. It pays to have patience. But the otter is adorable. The Houston's Asian elephants. We are two herds, not one. A matriarchal herd of mothers and babies and a bachelor herd of all boys. Alright, it's an Asian elephant. This is all new area. Together, you can see the little baby elephant. Well, it's not so there? little anymore, but you know, you it's still a young elephant. The mommy elephant. There's a little baby. So they say this is all new area. The male elephants, and you see all the mud, because most boys like to play in the mud and get all dirty. There's the big boy elephants. We got lots of water to go in, so after they're done playing in the mud. They can go in and rinse off. Only after mother tells them to, I'm sure. Another one of the big bull elephants. So there is seating here, so you can enjoy the elephants. This is all a new area, like I said. Got the elephant house, where they spend the evenings. During this, elephants are excellent swimmers and really enjoy it. A bachelor pad. Got some Akapi. And with the Akapi, you got Yellowback Duker. They're such bizarre animals. It's like I'm not quite sure what they are. It's like part giraffe, part zebra. Pretty cool looking though. Yeah. What's this guy doing? I'm like chewing on the bar. We got this big habitat here, which is currently empty according to the signage. Alright, we got clouded leopard. Alright, so currently I do not see the clouded leopard. But it is still early. So I will most definitely come back. Hopefully get the same for you. Alright, we got the world of primates. This is nice. We got the mommy with the baby. We got some ring-tailed lemurs. Madagascar big-headed turtle and redhead duck. So you can see the ring-tailed lemurs. A 
Another one off to the side. I think he's sleeping. Madagascar big headed turtle. And then we got the duck. Redhead duck. That's a little better view of the turtle. We got a black and gold howler monkey. So there is the monkey's habitat. And currently I only see the one up on the top. It's like he's on a hammock. It's a good place to be. We got a goldest monkey. Alright, so the goldest monkeys are not out in here. They have access to their indoor habitat and they can choose to come out. So I will come back to this area a little bit later. Hopefully we'll be out. A cool crested aracari. And I see two of them. There's one here. The other one's on the top corner on the other side. Cleaning its feathers. The cockerels. Sifakum lemur. And then with them we got a crown lemur. That's a cool looking lemur. Got another one up there. And the crown lemurs are up here. That's how one stick his head out. So I'll check back a little bit later to see if it's out. More noticeable anyway. We got some Patus monkey. There we go. Not quite sure what the one's doing with its paw. Oh, he's petting the other one's foot. Uh huh. They're cool animals. I got some Schmidt's red tailed monkey. Let's see one of them. Another one over here with the baby. We got Alan Swamp Monkey. Yes, yeah, so Alan Swamp Monkey are hanging out in this little green, green tube housey thing. We got primate diet. So what's for dinner? I think it's mac and cheese. Empty Brazos monkey. That's a cool looking monkey. Long tail too. Got another one. This whole area is on a boardwalk. We go through all the trees and bamboo. Alright, so from the other path, trying to get you a better view of the Alan Swamp monkey. Baby crawling, got the baby crawling all over the mommy. We got a northern white cheek gibbon. Exactly. One's hanging up on the side of the netting. If you get tired, it's a nice, comfortable bench. There we got some sabang and pat this monkey. Go. You see that? This is a mang. Another one down here on the ground. This on the other side. Do not currently see the pathus monkey that's in here with them. So I'll check back in this area later. Yeah, right, orangutan. We saw the turtles earlier, Jennifer. Alright, so currently I do not see the orangutan out. So I will check back a little bit later, probably indoors where it is cooler, sleeping.